My name is Alex Wilson. I'm the marketing director and co-founder of Extra Dog. The X-Back racing harness, which is a fantastic piece of equipment, was designed in the 1950s by an extraordinary lady called Mel Fishback Riley. Mel was born in California and spent much of her life living in Montana. Montana is one of the sled dog capitals of America. And she designed initially a freighting harness for dogs that was based on a webbing system that ran to the base of the tail of the dog. In those days, modern materials like fleece and foam were not available. So what Mel used to do was she used to buy blankets from a, from a little air, airline that flew from Alaska to Montana. And she used to use the blankets and she used to sew the blankets to the inside of the harness. So if the dog was traveling over distances, it was soft against the dog's skin and it wasn't going to chafe the dog because a lot of these dogs may travel for three, four hundred miles in one stretch over a few days. And so it is really important that the harness would fit the dog comfortably. Today, these harnesses are still handmade in Montana. Unfortunately, Mel Fishback Riley is no longer with us, but her husband, who was a well-known sled maker, Lee Fishback, and wrote a fantastic book called Training Lead Dogs. Um, his apprentice was a young man called Jack Beckstrom, who was also rather well known in Montana as he was quite a famous long distance sled dog musher and competed in the race to the sky on many, many occasions. Um, Jack now owns the business, which it today is called Adanax Leads and Equipment, and the harnesses are still handmade in Montana. But today they're not using blankets from airplanes, they're using materials including fleece, which is really super comfortable for the dog, and also a material called closed cell foam, which is, has, a, has an amazing property because it doesn't absorb water. So. Um, if you've got a dog out in snow, this material doesn't freeze on the dog, or if you're using a dog in wet conditions, which a lot of the sled dog mushers in this country, obviously we don't have the weather that they might have in Montana, so it's very wet. So a lot of people like the closed cell foam. It's the same material that you would find on the inside of a buoyancy aid life jacket. Mm -hmm.